Two two here in Tala with St Pat's goalkeeper Dean Linus. Dean, talk us through your views on that. I think it would have been a, a good one to watch from the stands anyway, and you know, open, free flowing game. And thankfully, we we got a result out of it. I think it would have all been heartbroken to come away with with nothing. So, I take the point. Full credit to the boys, the way they battled and kept going, never give in to come from behind twice. So, you know, it's uh, it stops the rot and it's a point on the board. From your own point of view, to make your debut for the club tonight in front of 7,500 fans, a sold out away end first game, Pat's an atmosphere like that, a game like that, you must be delighted. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I was really looking forward to it. And, you know, it's kind of it's, you're playing a wee bit lighter than I'm used to normally um, with the three o'clock kickoffs, so you're kind of waiting around all day a little bit more. But I really enjoyed it. I've been looking forward to it. And thankfully, we, we got a result out of the game as well. Talk us through your big saves, particularly the one onto the post towards the end of injury time I think it was after we'd equalised Shamrock Rowers were pushing we were pushing and you had to make a big big save right at the end yeah that's that's what I'm there to do really and and make sure you know I just kind of threw myself and got a touch and it luckily it hit the post and you know it's it's one of them on the day it goes in but when things are dropping you away and they're the little breaks you get which we've probably not had at all in the in the last three games so um, look, it's nice to stop the rot and, and get another point on the board Probably three weeks ago you didn't think you'd be playing for St Pat's in the League of Ireland and the move happened quite quickly, you've been on the bench for the last couple and come on in this as well. It's mad how, how football works and how you, you can probably not, not, not know too much about the league and all of a sudden you're here playing in this stadium, playing for Pat's and putting in such a good performance. It's strange how football works. It's, uh, it's that cliche, it changed in the blink of an eye, doesn't it? And I was really thankful you know, to the manager when, when he picked up the phone to ask if, if there could be an interest to coming over and I didn't really have to think twice about it, to be honest. I know a few boys that have played in the league and been speaking to them about um, different clubs and, and you know the, what the league's like, so I've tried to get as much insight as I, as I could, but I've really enjoyed it since I've, since I've come in and hopefully now we can get some more results on the board and start climbing the table. What did you make of the atmosphere? Like it was a Shamrock Rowers home game. They probably had around six thousand here, but our twelve hundred certainly matched them for noise for sure. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, the, you know the the atmosphere was electric, and credit to the to the fans for keeping on all, all the whole game. You know, we weren't behind twice. It would have been easy to to get frustrated, but they never they they kept pushing us on. And you know, when you come to places like this, you you need that push from from the stands. You know, it gives you it, that extra one, two, three percent. You know, to to keep pushing, and the boys did that. So I'm delighted they've got something to go in with. And lastly, in is a national break now, as you mentioned, uh, another point on the board after those three defeats and UCD to come at home in a couple of weeks' time. So I'm sure rest, recover and keep yourself sticking over now for the last three games in this series and hopefully try and build some momentum. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather there was a game next week, if I'm honest. But um, no, it'd be nice to, to get home and, and see the family for me personally and, and, and spend some time with the kids. So, um, yeah, you know, we, we've got to build on this now and, and make sure we come back from the break raring to go and, and try and get three points. Great team, well done. Thanks very much.